operators on the hockey now here at the Women's Series. OB, Maria O'Brien against Lorraine Wynn Stanley, a quarter finalist in today's first Lorraine event. Lorraine for the ball. She lost out in the last eight to Jane Densley and then beat her in the first round of this event. Swift revenge for Wynn Stanley. 25. Indeed, revenge is sweet. Outside, Lorraine's won the ball. So Lorraine Wynn Stanley wins the ball. In this best of seven affair. Mm -hmm. That was the first round. Second round, she saw off young Sheldon, Katie Sheldon, a player that she mentors. She is a, a big champion of women's darts. The Rainwin Stanley 40. has really shouted about the PDC Women's Series from the rooftop. She participates in WDF events as well. Supports those, played in the World Championship, reached the semi-finals, of course, this time around, a former finalist herself as well, but also mentors young players in a row with one of the sponsors there, Target. Really is helping the... 100. Well, I don't know if you call it grassroots in darts. What would you call it? Floorboards? <laughs> a very much a fair assessment. 60. But, yeah really lives and breathes the game. Going up against a, a very able operator though, Maria O'Brien. 60. Yes, the Devon native, Maria O'Brien. From Plymouth. 100. A good visit from Maria O'Brien. Want to level the leg up here. She reached the semi-finals of one of these events earlier this year. She probably will feel like she should have made the final. She made a real mess at the end of a deciding leg against Robin Byrne. 100. But it's keeping level pegging here with Edwin Stanley, who was in sublime form. We saw it on the, on the TV games earlier. 55. Achieving a personal best average. Yeah, higher than 90. And it's kind of only been Sherrick 60. and Ashton who've been playing to that standard, the women's series. So the Rainwind Stanley here is in a very good spot for qualifying for that women's world match play, in a very good spot in this leg. Oh, look at this. Sensational from Lorraine Wynn Stanley, a 146 whopper to win the first leg. And that's one of the highest checkouts, if not the highest, that we have seen on the TV board here on this Saturday in Wigan. 140. Well, almost the perfect response from O'Brien. Speaking of high checkouts, we have had on one of the outside boards a 170 to win a last leg decider. Courtney Hine doing the business. 28. And taking out the big fish. She was cheering on her dad at the lakeside. The muffin man, Steve Hine, who was dishing out the baked goods on his walk-ons. <laughs> 100. Probably a good start from O'Brien in this leg with a 140. Follow up by a 60, but... Looking to respond straight away after... That 146 checkout from Wynn Stanley. 100. A decent enough response. But it's 140 followed by three trebleless turns, 60. and it just allows Wynn Stanley away into this leg. Yeah, inching her way back with two visits of a ton. Be followed by a third here at least. 100. This has a slender lead, but you still fancy O'Brien with that 181. You talk about fine margins in this game, and she could have boxed a bit more clever there, having found that first treble 20. Had she gone for an 18, then 25 would have left a finish. 87. And score of 103 rather than the third consecutive 100, and it may make the difference. O'Brien's on a two darter now. When Sally will look to pressurise it, and again, downstairs this time for a 99 at least. 99. 20 ahead, 94 though for O'Brien. Going on the 18's route. Went up to a treble 20. So 54. no 
darted a double, but Win Stanley should have at least one with his 74 coming in. Which is already taken out. A stunning 146 finish. Only needed one dart a double then. But that Good dart five. just gets in the way. That's the problem with 60 with two darts. Game you shot. can block tops. And O'Brien had it open and pins it to level the match. Level game, one apiece. Win Stanley with the throw. And already in the red bit. Dipping of red dips. 140. It was exciting when somebody starts at 140. A leg with a couple of trebles. Even more exciting when it's three. We've never seen a nine dart finish at the women's series. But certainly our players capable of producing. Look at these for perfect darts. Five out of the six 180. for the Rainwind Stanley have found that treble 20 bed. Well, this game has really caught fire. In the last few moments. Six. One eight one from Win Stanley after six. Sixty. And to one twenty one. O'Brien on three oh one. Trey McGinn rolls into it with a ton forty wood to the left. Sixty. O'Brien with a finish, but Win Stanley big favourite now. Six dart from one twenty one. Bull if she fancies it. She 96. did fancy it, couldn't quite locate it. But O'Brien still a way back. Looking to try and pressurise, well may do, about 140. So something to think about here for Lorraine Wynn standing on 25. Perfect dart in the nine, that. Must give you so much confidence for the double when it goes dead centre in the single like that. And when Stanley plays out that theory, and gets her nose back in front. But already O'Brien looking to bounce back immediately. And what a start with a ton 80. Well, I did say it's exciting when the first visit is 180. O'Brien obliges. 81. Even more exciting when the second one is. Eighty-one. Maria O'Brien will just be happy that she doesn't have to walk on in this event. At the lakeside, during her walk on, she actually slipped off the stage. 60. No damage done, which is why I was comfortable talking about it. But yeah, she walked on to Maria, you've got to see her. And then we didn't for a second. 60. Eighty-three. O'Brien well, still big favourite in this leg. One eighty, looking to try and get down to a two data. Sixty. Just a one, just a sixty there though. Starting off with the one eighty, followed by an eighty-one and a couple of sixties. When Stanley needs another one of those, and a little bit of pressure will be put on. Forty. Maria O'Brien. Well, she's over the shoulder. Trouble 20 needed. Just underneath. 100. Excellent last start. It looked like she blocked herself out completely there, but managed to find the treble to leave a double. 137's not going to go, so O'Brien will get the chance to square things up at 2 2. 41. 20 to go. Double five. Got to split it now. No I'm score. Going, going bust instead. It's that awkward double double five. It's you've always been taught always go high on it. A matter of times we always see everybody go low. That's a great guide. And she uses it to great effect. Game and she shot. punishes O'Brien for that mistake. Lorraine Win Stanley's finishing has been excellent in this match. The 96 out to back up the 146 that she opened with to set her intentions, and now she has the darts to seal the win. Looking to advance 100. into the last 16 once again. Well, 
Can't take anything away from Maria O'Brien here. So just one or two missed out to double, and this could have been a completely different game. Go bear in hey, mind that Rainwind Stanley did start out with a 146 checkout as well. So whatever happens here for Maria O'Brien, there's still loads of positives to take away here. Heading into tomorrow. 83. That's for Wynn Stanley. It's looking likely that she will advance to the last 16. We will have last 16 action live here on this 24. streaming board. Corinne Hammond will take on either Laura Turner, beaten finalists in the previous event, or Tracy North. 60. Good for friends, actually, Corinne Hammond and Tracy North. It would be interesting if it was that encounter. Both live down in the Portsmouth and Southampton area. Play a lot of darts in local events down there, but Turner will be favourite after that run to the final. Win Stanley a big favourite here. And closing in. 140. Yeah, 118 points away from a 4-1 victory. O'Brien needs a ton 40 here. And there's a good chance of getting it. How's the max? 140. Well, it's an outside chance. Should she return to the board when Stanley on 118? 58 to go, 18. Double top for a 4-1 victory. 78. It would have been a fitting way to win. But 96 and the 146 in this match. But when Stanley will return with three at tops to seal a three-leg victory. 97. So for a place in the last 16, double top for Lorraine Wynn Stanley. It's a great guy, that is. Right underneath that one would do lovely. Take your pick, either one. There you go, Lorraine Wynn Stanley through by four legs to one.